to high school hoops from Thursday night. Starkville hosting West Point, first home game of the year at the Nest for the Jackets. Third quarter, West Point trailing. Ty Johnson inside, working hard in the paint. That's the basket to fall. Uh, Lady Wave trying to cut into that Jackets lead. Starkville's turn here, and can't have a Starkville highlight if you don't have Tabria Gandy involved. And she's going to find Jaleesa Outlaw wide open on the wing. That triple goes. Jackets extending the lead, and then more from Starkville. Maria Strong, she's going to drive inside. She's going to find Carly Evans, who's also going to pull up, and she gets the jumper to fall. Starkville girls roll 77 to 40 over West Point. To the fellas, West Point and Starkville facing off. We get a chance to see our for, uh, first time there, we get a chance to see Austin Crowley, Stark point guard for the Green Wave. But it was Blake Rogers early. Corner three, got it. Yellow Jackets have the early lead, and then they would push it a little in transition on the fast break. Jordan Temple going coast to coast, finishing with the right hand reversal. Very nice. West Point's turn now. Still haven't scored yet. They would here off the inbounds pass. That's the oldest inbounds pass in the book, but actually doesn't go according to plan. No matter. Darian Matthews there for the putback. And then more from the Green Wave. Here's Austin Crowley. We didn't get a chance to see him very much last night, but here he drives and finishes easily with the right hand. But the Starkville boys would cruise over West Point 91 to 49. Yellow Jackets putting a beating on the Green Wave as they 